Hey, what's going on guys? I'm God's of War, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade and build the fire staff in Origins. This is Zombie Chronicles. So, in the very beginning, we're going to need to build the gramophone. And to do that, there are going to be three spawn points for a disc. That was the first one right there on the excavation site. The second one is upstairs on this wheelbarrow. That is the actual disc itself. It is a white disc. Hold square to pick it up. And if you don't have it in either one of those two spawn points, the third and final spawn point is dropping down over here by these rocks right here. Hold square to pick it up and we'll be moving on to the actual gramophone itself. So this is downstairs in the excavation site. It is always located right here. Hold square to pick it up, and I will just throw it on the table right next to us to open up the actual excavation site itself. After you do that, pick up the gramophone again so that you have it in your inventory. Now we're gonna be finding the pieces for the fire staff itself. So the first thing we're gonna be looking for is the disc. Head on to the church and go upstairs. The first spawn point for the disc is on the bench, on the very back bench right here. If it's not there, there are two other spawn points. There is one outside right next to generator six right here. And then if you don't have it in either one of those two spawn points, the third spawn point is a little bit tricky. It's right next to the tank. If you wedge yourself up to this box, it'll say hold square to pick it up. That is the easiest way to get it in my opinion. So after that, head outside, and if you look up in the sky, you will see a golden plane. If it's not there, just wait a couple rounds. All you need to do for this step is shoot the golden plane. It will blow up in one shot. Again, if it's not there, just wait a little bit. It will spawn in, I promise. It just takes some time sometimes. You do have to have the church open for this as well, so just make sure that you, the church is open. You will drop the fire staff piece right next to the soul box near the excavation site. After that, we'll be moving on to the next fire staff piece. This one is for the Panzer. You have to kill him. He spawns round 7 plus. Every single time the first, spawn, the first Panzer spawns in, he will always drop the fire staff piece. So just kill the first Panzer and you will be able to get this by progressing through the rounds very, very easily. You can get it as early as round 7. After that, head back to the church, and if you don't have Pack-a-Punch turned on already, then just turn on Generator 6. The staff piece is very easy. You need it for Pack-a-Punch. If you have Pack-a-Punch and you probably already have the staff piece, hold square to turn on Generator 6. Do the little drill that you have to do here to turn on the power itself. And then once you have the generator turned on, the fire staff piece spawns in the soul chest right next to you where you redeem all of your other rewards for challenges. After that, we will be getting the final staff piece to build in the fire staff. So this is very specific. You need the gramophone and you need to head onto the fire staff crazy place spawn point. This is located right outside of the spawn in your generator three. You head out the door and then it's right there. It says fire right on the entrance. You have to go through this one. If you don't, you won't be able to get the element from here. Head on into here. And once you are inside, go over exactly where I go. I would turn on the, uh, the teleporter again right when you come in here so that you can leave right away. But this is where the element piece spawns for the fire staff. Hold square to pick it up. And by the time you are done with that, the teleporter should be almost built and you can head on out of here. Make sure to pick up the gramophone as well before you leave there. After that, head to the excavation site and you will be able to build the fire staff right on the red Prima statue. Hold square, you will be able to craft it. You can only have one fire or one staff at a time, so you will need the fire staff for the rest of this video. If you want to upgrade it, you'll need to pick up the fire staff. Now we're going to be heading to the church and upstairs. This step is a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try my best to walk you guys through this. There are four symbols that spawn in in the church upstairs. You guys will see mine here. This is the breakdown for it. There are three symbols on the left and then the fourth one on the right. The one on the right is always number four. Don't worry about that one. What you want to do is look at the first three symbols on the left. Like you guys will notice mine is the three dots with the one dot in the middle. That is number 11. And then I have number nine. And then I also have number six. And then there, I have a four at the end. You always will have a four. You want to figure out your first three numbers and then always a four. Once you have your all your three numbers, we're going to be heading downstairs in the church. So after you have all four of your numbers, go back downstairs in the church. And on the back walls, you guys will notice torches with numbers below them. You need to do your numbers in order from left to right. Mine was 11, 9, 6, 4. You will always have a 4. The 4 isn't actually shown on the wall. It's the torch that has blood below it. But you guys will see the exact location for it. These don't change. The only thing that changes is your numbers. So what you have to do is shoot 11, 9, 6, 4 was mine. Yours will be random. Just remember what your numbers are and then shoot them in that order. It's always four at the end so you have to find your first three and then four shoot them and you'll get an audio cue knowing this is complete after that head to the excavation site and you guys will notice these levers and this giant pillar in the background 
there will be a color and a lever that changes that pillar. I'm going to show you guys all four spawn points for the levers. For this, you're going to have to change them all to red. So just follow this pathway upstairs. You can drop down right here. This will be the third spawn point for the lever. If you already have it red, you don't have to mess with it. But I just wanted to show you guys which one this moves. These always move the same one too. Like that one will always move the one on the bottom. But once you have the third one, you have to go back upstairs again. And then instead of dropping down like we did, if you jump across, you will be able to get to the next lever. It is right down here. Jump across and then drop down and you'll get to the fourth and final one. Switch it over to red and we'll be good to go. Once all four of these symbols are red, there will be a little orb. Shoot it with the fire staff and it will launch itself up into the sky. This will be pretty much done with the fire staff upgrade. From here, you're going to need to go back to the crazy place. Once you're inside, hold square on the fire pillar. You will be able to deposit the staff and from here, all you need to do is get kills. So make sure you have some ammo and you can survive in here for a little bit. It's about 10 to 15 kills. Once you have 10 to 15 kills, you will be able to pick the fire staff back up again. You guys will notice a little cue on the screen that says this is complete. And that is how to upgrade the fire staff in Origins. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have guides on all of these coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, I'll see you guys later with some Zombie Chronicles videos. Peace.